Hello, thanks for joining me here in review number nine. Today we're going to have a look at the H-Stone Vader, which was sent to me for the purpose of review from Bull Vape. The Vader is an 18650 mod, but it is also able to take the new 2700 batteries. So it's a stainless steel tube with a rainbow design. And here you'll see four wee slats cut out into it on either side, along with vent holes, heat distribution. And on the bottom you have Darth Vader. What's that? 266. It says Vader on it. So you remove the top cap. And inside it, you have a wee black plastic tube. This is your 18650 sleeve. And then we'll use a 2700 battery. Top cap back on. As you can see, butter smooth threads on it, so there is. So I've been using this for a number of weeks. So I have just to see how it runs, see if there was any problems that it come into. So nice set of fuse clapton's for his work. Some cloud marshals, blue slice. So put plenty of juice on the coil to make sure the wicks are well saturated. This will stop them from getting dry burns. Just making sure that it's all completely saturated. it well juiced up. I have had a number of different RDAs on it and I have to say I didn't really find a fault with any one that I've had on. I've had copper, brass, I'll show you some of the other RDAs that I have on it. That's about a good version 1.5. We'll take it up the top, have a vape on it. When I first got the Vader, I did notice that whenever I was firing it, I was getting a hot button. And I had to put it through the ultrasonic. Then with the 18650 tube, you see the copper contact at the bottom of it also has one on the other side and we're using a Sony VTC5A got from vape sale that code at GK
fire alarms are start to go off. So as you can see, it doesn't lack in delivering the power. I think it's fantastic. With all the price of it, what? John has them on the site for fifteen ninety. And remember, for that door, you get in the stainless steel tube with a rainbow color. You get in the V plastic insert. It's for taking an eighteen six fifty battery, and it'll also take the twenty seven hundred battery. So with it, it's thirty four millimeters here, and twenty four millimeters at the thinnest part here in the middle. So, as you can see, it is like an hourglass shape. Great thing, great. For 1590, you can't buy it too. And you can pick these up at Bull Vape, that's www.bullvape.co.uk Absolutely fantastic, you'll not beat it. With it I have a lot of Authentics, also use a lot of clones, and there isn't really much of a difference apart from the vague price hike. I mean for the Authentic one of these I think it was two and a half hundred pound, whereas you're getting the clone for fifteen ninety. It's a no brainer so it is. So, if you're into the max, this is a good one to get, so it is. So with it for 1590, you can't fault it in any way. The thing is fantastic. No faults whatsoever, apart from whenever it came but that happens with most of the stuff where a bit of grease it can be whatever was in the, the threads a bit of dirt, a bit of grease so clean it out and it hasn't been a fault from it on the inside you get a wee o-ring to re remove any battery rattle to see it there but I'll put a picture in the top corner so as you can see it works both ways positive down to the bottom or positive up to the top there is a bit of weight in it not overly heavy but I do like the weight of it I mean same weight as the bean. Being around the same weight as the, the rogue. And the dragon. OG dragon. It's actually heavier. Surprise, surprise. Been a 28 millimeter. Also with it at the top, you have like a wee catchment area. So you have an inside this from one side to the other, it's 25, 26 millimeter. So you're able to fit your RDA in. So this is the gain 1.5. which is 24 skill and it sits more flush on the line of it skill is what a 25 millimeter RDA you can see no overhang 
bit of copper just to let you see what the different RDAs look like on them with different colors and brass apocalypse So as you can see, that was the Brass Apocalypse, the Black Skill, Black Goon. What else have we got? Stainless Steel Apocalypse. Both the Apocalypse are V2. Just to give you an idea of what they look like with each colour. Personally, I thought the brass was nice. I do like a bit of brass myself. But also look nice with the black. And copper. Putting them in the order that I would use them. Brass, copper and then black. Black. 